ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ವೆನ್ ಅವರ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫ್ರೀ ವಿಲ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದೆನ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲಜಿ ಮುಹೂರ್ತ ಅನ್ ಈವೆಂಟ್ ಶೆಡ್ಯೂಲಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಫ್ರೀ ವಿಲ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ and some times are auspicious some times are inauspicious so our whole goal is to maximize auspiciousness and there is there is just a, there is a free will there to exercise and uh, we can properly choose the variables so that we maximize the auspiciousness so this is definitely a problem which can be tackled with uh, modern uh, op- as an optimization problem with some objective to maximize the auspiciousness score for a given uh, say auspiciousness score of uh, how do we structure it that was the question uh, that came up into my mind and uh, suppose we give time slots uh, see maybe we want to maxim what you what are the maximum number of time slots that uh, work very well for some particular event uh, and we'll have constraints of course your constraints would be uh, will be some time slots could be prohibited there could be resource constraints coming in and all that but here i have uh, simply constructed a very simple muhurta auspiciousness maximizer tool which i called as panchanga muhurta optimizer so it uh, it's for a general election uh, okay not uh, anything specific just to get a feel for uh, the first uh, level of uh, filtered dates and upon that you can work up on further to maybe narrow down for particular events maybe so the way i have structured it here is you have the uh, date of the muhurta that you can uh, in the main sheet you have to give which year you are interested in first of all which month you are interested in okay i have included the 12 months here you can choose a particular month and you choose a janma nakshatra year so what is your janma nakshatra because it's a, i have mainly taken up the panchanga elements the tithi vara yoga nakshatra and tara tara is what is specific to your own janma nakshatra the count from your own janma nakshatra so it is more individual based the rest are all general for the particular muhurta date and time okay so the way i constructed it is uh, i erected a table here where i called x x is the decision variable whether you choose a particular date or you don't choose a particular date zero means you do not want the date and one means you are going to opt for the date okay and when you opt for the date the particular date might have a particular vara there particular tithi yoga nakshatra and all that since based upon your nakshatra that could be a particular tara as well so for all this i have erected a particular uh, i mean if you go into deeper into the code it will erect a score you can of course play with the score there so i have a a table here of course uh, the muhurta auspiciousness score if you see here i have a karana score nakshatra score tara score tithi score okay and all those you can go through and if the tithi numbers are this this is very auspicious these are good these are neutral and all that if you want to change them that also you can play with the code there so based upon the particular dates uh, values here this auspiciousness score is erected so some are negative some are positive depending upon uh, uh, what is that tithi or what is that nakshatra and all that okay so there are two options given here i am going to optimize what is going to be optimized what i am going to optimize is i have a constraint of it to choose the total time slots uh, you can either maybe choose just to one time slot or two or three or five time maximum i taken as five in case you want to change that you got to go and change the code itself and the total auspiciousness i am calculating a five this formula 
which is essentially the multiplication of uh, the time slot that is chosen into this a. What is a into x is this and uh, a is the basically the score multiplied uh, by uh, basically a is the sum product of uh, k what is this uh, sum product of g versus d okay so g is uh, this here and uh, okay d is the weightage that i have given for each of the elements see each of these panchangas map to the tattvas the titi maps to jala tattva vara to agni yoga to akasha nakshatra to vayu karana to the earth element which is the bhu tattva and since we are going to take tara which is specific to your own janma nakshatra it is relative to your janma nakshatra so and moon is involved here and moon is manas so this is the manas score so i'm going to you can play with this weights also i have given options for playing with weights suppose uh so these two are multiplied and you get a a here which is a auspiciousness score i call it some days it will be negative some days it would be positive okay a into x is what is here and i am going to add all of them and get a total auspiciousness and there is a code behind here if i see i have a code here which i call it as muhurta simplex if you just to see there the auspiciousness is uh, or maybe it will be easier for you to see the solver here solver is a part of data uh, essentially you are going to maximize the total auspiciousness by changing the decision excess these are the decision excess uh, subject to the constraint that the total chosen slots is less than or equal to 5 so in case you want to modify you can make it suppose you want 10 dates you can just modify it or two dates just modify it and the decision excess or should be binary either you have a zero or a one so that way and uh, not truly speaking you should use the evolutionary method but uh, a simplex method also works very nicely quickly so i prefer uh, the simple uh, uh, okay i think it uh, the method is actually part of uh, what is uh, in the macro here so the same thing is put in the macro here so it will tell you the simplex uh, lp engine is what is used here so once you click here what it will do is it will try out uh, zero one for different uh, dates here and finally whichever date the auspicious score is maximum that it will highlight here okay then it will basically maximizes it is putting numbers here zero and one for different combinations and finding out which is uh, getting the maximum auspiciousness so you get uh, immediately the second october suits very well sixth october suits well for this uh, person because i say person because you choose on your german nakshatra here so it is specific not only to the general choice but also to the particular person and the person part comes through tara okay rest are all general for anybody the tara is specific to the person so 23rd is good in terms of all these elements in terms of the titi vara everything looks good uh, for the 23rd okay what is good everything scores a 5 here so suppose uh, i want to fix a, a time for somebody comes and ask me to fix a time for uh, uh say a house warming ceremony something like that so i would uh, generally get uh, 2 6 10 23 and 29 as my first choice then i'll go into it further and check whether that really suits in other matters like in terms of vara tithi combination tithi those vt and combinations and all that i have not filtered here so it's a first level of filter immediately giving you a first uh, throughput of uh, what is uh, the good dates so if it's going to be another nakshatra so husband and wife the nakshatra the husband can also be checked the, the wife can be checked then once you do it here you can play with the weights and then you have to you should not forget to click here so clicking here does the optimization so for this person 2 6 23 24 24 and 29 seem to be good okay if you put more weightage for the tara maybe you can uh, even put two nothing wrong uh, you can because these are relative numbers but uh, i think uh, uh, given options only for 0 to 
one year you can modify that in case you need to uh, feel like uh, uh, changing the uh, values here yeah you could even maybe you can add a two also here in data validation okay some people feel that uh, for tara they have to give more weightage compared to anything else once you change the weightage you have to click here so that the optimizer will choose the date for you see now the 29th is not chosen it is 24th suits the individual better i think 29th was chosen before it's not chosen so it depends upon the weightage more or less you get the same dates uh, depending upon what uh, importance you are giving some uh, panchanga elements might see if it's an emotional element that is more needed uh, suppose you are going to enter into some relationships then maybe the jala tatva has to be strong so tithi weightage maybe you can put more if it's the fire element that you want more maybe for health matters or some energy related items you want to go and put forcefully talk somewhere something like that then maybe the vara element have to be given more weightage if it's a yoga we want to relate on a global sense in a social circle uh, yoga is something that binds people on a whereas titi is more important for an emotional basis for one to one yoga for uh, on a longer uh, or a bigger umbrella of relationship nakshatra of course the vayu element very strongly the prana shakti so that you can put weightage to karana is for fixed especially when i said house warming or maybe time for purchasing a land or something i would put the karana or uh, getting into an establishment or putting an establishment strongly or joining a job you want stability in which you want more stability put uh, karana as two year uh whatever and then uh, uh click the button it will tell you which dates uh, maximizes this particular ax combination and uh, that turns out to be again 24 28 30 6 and 7 turn out to be so uh, the dates will differ depending upon what weightage you give to which panchanga element and also to uh, tara how much weightage you give and essentially i would avoid uh, tuesdays and uh, saturdays but in case you want to change those things you can go and change the code but generally this will give you a first level filter for a good mugurta date hope uh, you can download this excel and make use of it uh, because uh, this turned out to be a very nice tool for uh, using the optimization part in excel thank you very much